This is Ambo. Welcome to Bhutan e-learning project. My name is Jumi Doji. Today I will take you to geography lesson on the topic weather and climate, key stage three, class seven and eight. So first uh, we will go with lesson objectives. So after this lesson or after this presentation, all of you should be able to explain weather and climate. Second one is list the differences between weather and climate and explain each. Third one is discuss the elements of weather and climate. And finally, you should be able to explain the factors affecting climate. So these are the lesson objectives. Now, before going to our topic, that is weather and climate, I would like to state some importance of weather and climate. And we have to know that weather and climate is important for us because it determines lifestyle, lifestyles of people, it determines natural environment, it determines the climatic and weather condition of a place. And also we have to remember that weather and climate are similar in nature but they are not same. So there is one question that is what is weather and climate? So what do you mean by weather? What do you mean by climate? You can think for a while. Okay? Weather is the day-to-day -day condition of atmosphere. So when we are define, uh, when we are defining weather, now you have to know that we are describing atmospheric condition for short duration. For example, today is sunny. Yesterday was rainy. These are some of the examples of weather. Then next uh, one is climate. What do you mean by climate? And climate is defined as the average weather condition for a long period of time. That means when we are defining climate, we are describing weather condition for longer duration. Longer du duration here means like 20 to 30 years. So climate cannot be determined in short duration. Climate, to determine climate, we have to study the weather pattern for long period. Uh, next topic is about the differences between weather and climate. Now, for this topic, I have one short video clip regarding the differences between weather and climate. So you can watch carefully and after watching, now you can know the differences between weather and climate. Weather and climate are two similar words with very different meanings. As a result, many people end up using them incorrectly. Weather refers to conditions of the atmosphere over a short period of time, from minutes to days, while climate means average weather of a place over a period of many, many years. Weather is what TV presenters forecast, like sunny, cloudy, windy, storm, etc. Here are the key differences. Weather can change within a few minutes or hours, while climate takes hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years to change. In other words, climate lasts all the time, and weather only a few days or even a few minutes. Examples for weather include, they were hoping for good weather today. I got caught up in really bad weather yesterday. Examples for climate include, many parts of Africa have harsh climates. She missed the cool climate of southern Wales.
What did you learn from this video? Can you analyze? Okay. This video uh, generally or basically it talks on the differences between weather and climate. And to summarize this video, now we have to know that one main one main differences between weather and climate is about duration. That means weather, when we are considering weather, now we are describing weather, describing atmospheric condition for short duration. But whereas in climate we are describing atmospheric condition for longer duration. The second difference is that weather changes frequently. That means weather can change hour to hour, minute to minute, day to day. But climate does not change frequently. That means climate is like a permanent. Next topic is on elements of weather and climate. And when we are studying about the elements of weather and climate, we have to know we are studying the determinants of weather and climate. So first element of weather and climate is temperature. And temperature refers to the degree or intensity of heat. It varies from time to time and is to place. So now when we are defining temperature, we have to know that it is the degree of hotness and coldness of our uh, atmosphere. And it is said that temperature is never static. It changes frequently. And it is said that it changes time to time. Example, temperature at day will be different from temperature at night. Temperature also changes from place to place. Example, southern region will be having high temperature and example like northern region in Bhutan will be having low temperature. And it is said that temperature decreases with increasing altitude at the rate of 1 degree Celsius per every 165 meter of ascent. Temperature determines the weather and climate condition of a place. If the temperature is high, now we can say that the weather condition of that place will be hot or warm. If the temperature is low, now we can say that the weather condition of that place will be cold or cool. And to measure the temperature of an air, we have instrument called thermometer. So you can see the picture of thermometer. So this is the instrument which measures the air temperature. Now next uh, elements of weather and climate is air pressure. And air pressure is defined as the force exerted by atmosphere. Air pressure changes with altitude. So when we are defining air pressure, we have to remember air pressure means weight of our air. And it is said that air pressure decreases with increase in altitude. That means altitude and air pressure are inversely proportional. And air pressure determines the weather and climate condition of this. And it is said that high pressure is related to stable weather condition, clear sky, and dry climatic condition. Whereas low pressure is related to uh, unstable weather condition, it will be rain and storm. To measure air pressure, now we have one instrument known as barometer. So this instrument will measure the air pressure of a piece. Next 
elements of the environment is wind. And wind is the horizontal movement of air. Wind is caused by differences in air pressure. So when we are defining wind, now we have to remember wind is simply horizontal movement of air. And it is said that wind usually blows from high pressure to low pressure areas. And wind also determines the climate or weather condition of a place. As we know that if a place is receiving moist wind, now it will bring heavy rain. Heavy rain there means the climatic condition will, of a place is, will be wet. And if a place is receiving dry climate condition, the climatic condition of that particular area will be dry. Know the direction of wind. Now we have an instrument known as wind wave. And to know the speed of wind, now we have an instrument known as anemometer. The fourth element of weather requirement is now rainfall. And rainfall is defined as the amount of rain an area receives over a period of time. Rainfall decreases with increase in altitude. So now here, it is said that rainfall will decrease with increase in altitude. That means if we are living at high altitude places like Yunana, Gaza, now we will receive it will rain. But if we are living in southern regions of Bhutan, like Santu Jongan, Sarpan, Gelfu, now we will be receiving, that places will be receiving heavy rainfall. And it is said that climatic condition based on rain is classified into two. That is wet climatic condition and dry climatic condition. If the places are receiving heavy rainfall, now we can say that the climatic condition of that place will be wet. And if a uh, place is receiving less or no rain, now we can see that current condition of that place will be dry. So to measure the amount of rainfall received by an area, now we have instrument known as rain gauge. So this instrument will measure the amount of rainfall. So these are the elements uh, of weather and climate. So under elements, now we have studied uh, about wind, then we have studied about the temperature, then air pressure, and finally we have studied about rain. So these four are the elements, or we can say these four are the determinants of weather and climate. Next topic is about the factors affecting climate. So it is said that there are different factors which affects climate or weather of a place. So first uh, factor which affects the climate or weather of a place is latitude. And latitude here refers to the horizontal line, horizontal lines on the globe. And climate of a place is generally determined by latitude. And it is said that if we are living on higher latitude, the temperature will be low. That means the climatic condition will be cold in nature. If you are living in lower latitude, it is said that the temperature will be high, so the climatic condition will be hot in nature. So we can say that latitude determines the climate, climatic condition of a place. So this you can know from the picture. So this is how the latitude affects the climate of a place. The next factor affecting climate is uh, altitude. And altitude refers to the height of a place above mean sea level. The temperature of place decreases with increase in 
altitude. That means, now here, when we are defining altitude, just altitude means uh, height from sea level. Uh, and it is said that higher the altitude, temperature will be low, lower the altitude, temperature will be high. That means, temperature and altitude are inversely proportional. When temperature, uh, when altitude increases, temperature will decrease. When altitude decreases, temperature will increase. And now it is said that temperature decreases with increased altitude at the rate of one degree Celsius per 165 meter. Regarding altitude, now you have to know that if you are living on a place where the altitude is high, the climatic condition will be cold or cool in nature because of lower temperature. But if you are living at lower altitude, now it is said that the temperature of that place will be high, so climatic condition will be warm or cold in nature. For this uh, topic, altitude, I have one question, that is, why does temperature decreases with increase in altitude? You can think for a while. Okay, the reason is, the reason is now depicted in this diagram. Now if you see, now when we go up and up, that means when altitude increases, what happens? Now the density of air becomes lesser and lesser. At lower latitude, as density of air is very high, that means the heat absorbing particles are more in nature. So what happens? When the heat absorbing particles are more in nature, so it receives or absorbs more heat. So that's why at lower altitude, now we can tell that the temperature is high. But now when we increase latitude, what happens? Now the density of air becomes less. That means heat absorbing particles are less in nature. So it absorbs minimum heat. So at higher altitude, now we can say that the climate condition is cold or the temperature is less. Now next factor which affects climate of a place is seasonal winds. And seasonal winds is defined as the wind that changes the direction with change in season. And Bhutan experiences two seasonal winds. First one is summer monsoon wind. And what do you mean by summer monsoon wind? Summer monsoon wind is the moist wind which blows from south, west to north east direction. During summer is known as summer monsoon. Now we will try to see how this summer monsoon affects the climate of Bhutan through picture. As we know that Bhutan is located at Northern Hemisphere, so during summer what happens? The Central Asia, the places which are located in Central Asia gets maximum heat because it receives direct sun rays. So what happens? Because of maximum heat, now the temperature increases. Because of increased temperature, now what happens? Now it creates low pressure. Whereas at southern hemisphere, that is ocean areas, now ocean areas like Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean, now it receives sunking sun rays. Sunking sun rays here means it receives minimum heat. Because of minimum heat, the temperature decreases. Because of decreased temperature, it creates high pressure. And we know that wind blows from high pressure to low pressure. So what happens? Now wind blows from 
Indian Ocean and Bay of Bengal towards Central Asia. So we say that this wind, which is blowing from southwest to northeast, will be moist in nature because it is blowing from ocean area to land area. So because of the moist in nature, what happens? Now it is said that it brings heavy rainfall to Bhutan. So that's why during summer we experience heavy rainfall. Next seasonal wind is winter monsoon wind. And winter monsoon wind refers to the dry wind which blows from northeast to southwest. And it is said that winter monsoon wind also affects the climate condition of Bhutan. And we will try to see how the winter monsoon wind is affecting the climatic condition of Bhutan through a picture. So during winter, as we know that Central Asia uh, receives slanting sun rays because it is located at the northern hemisphere. So what happens? Because of the slanting sun rays, the temperature at Central Asia decreases. So because of decreased temperature, there is creation of high pressure. Whereas at southern hemisphere, that is ocean areas, during winter, now ocean areas, that is, they are located at southern hemisphere. That's why, now what happens, Indian Ocean or Bay of Bengal, now because of the sun rays, temperature increase. Because of the increased temperature, what happens? There is creation of low pressure. So during winter, now wind blows from northeast towards southeast. So these wind are generally dry in nature as it blows from land towards sea or ocean. So because of this wind, now it is said that the climatic condition during winter of Bhutan becomes dry in nature. Now next factor affecting climate is orientation of mountains. And orientation of mountain here means arrangement of mountains. And if you see the Himalayan mountain range lies west to east and the slopes of the mountain face either north or south. The north facing slopes receive less heat from the sun and remain cooled, while south facing slopes receive more heat and remain warm. That means here, from here, now we can make out that arrangement or orientation of mountain also affects the climatic condition of the place. Further, you can understand from this picture, that is, if you see the picture, the south facing slope receives maximum sunlight. Because of maximum sunlight, what happens? The climatic condition of those areas now becomes hot and moist. Whereas, north facing slopes, now if you see in the picture, now it receives minimum or no sunlight. So what happens? Throughout the year, it, the climate condition of those areas becomes cold and dry. So we have come to the end of today's lesson. Before winding up, now I would like to summarize today's lesson. So first, we have studied about the meaning of weather and climate. Then we studied about the differences between weather and climate. After that, we have studied about the elements of weather and climate. Then, at last, we studied about the factor affecting climate or weather. As a lesson closure, I would like to give you some questions. Give you some questions uh, regarding uh, to this topic. And first question is. Monsoon plays an important role. What would happen if there is no monsoon? So this is the first question that we have to answer. The second one is, what type of climate would prevail in Bhutan if there were no Himalayas? This is the second question. So please answer the question and submit it to your respective subject teachers. Thank you.